All right, so what's crack I like in YouTube? Got a video coming at you from the RC Dungeon. Uh, I got a goodie. I just wanted to share with you guys. Um, also got the XR behind me, and it is uh, kind of tore down right now. I didn't get it on video. I now have my GoPro. Well, excuse me. <laughs> My Yi Light camera, uh, the ripoff GoPro, whatever, running. <clears throat> and uh, so I'll be getting back into doing running videos and everything too for the channel. Uh, I hit a tree with the XR and stripped the factory servo out and uh, messed it up pretty good. Um, so <clears throat> what I plan on doing is my last video didn't get uh i couldn't get it to completely upload the one i did on my with my phone so i'm not sure what was going on with all that stuff guys uh so i'm gonna go ahead and go through this real quick because i still got the sd card that only does like 10 minute video long recording and i don't want to bore you guys with a real long video anyways um <clears throat> but i was saying in the last video uh i got the Sky RC speed meter, um, top speed, average speed, altitude, all this, all that stuff. G the GPS unit. Um, I went ahead and bought one of these. I had them on sale, so I can catch, so I can start recording like, you know, gear changes, tire wheel changes, what it changes. You know, my top speed. Um, I'm not sure if it does RPMs. I'm not real sure about that. It may do RPMs too. Um, cause we will be putting the 36 in this pretty soon, but I want to run this thing. <clears throat> I want to see the improvement, uh, with the stock engine and what the pipe did. So I may end up bolting, like I said, the factory red cat pipe back up to this, um, just to run it and get like my numbers or I may just go on, uh, there's another channel where he, where I can't remember the name of the channel on YouTube that did the XR, he did the uh, like RPMs and top speed and all that stuff with one of these with the GPS on it. I may just pull his and use his, and then go by what the Jet Pro pipe added. Uh, I got to go back through, check his YouTube channel, and message him and ask him if that's okay. Uh, I've been kind of out of everything, guys, so I'm still trying to get back into everything. But here's the Sky RC uh, GNSS speed meter that I got. Okay, uh, that's the one I bought. Uh, comes with like supposedly all the stuff here, you know, to hook it to your computer, uh, you know, for all your stuff. Uh, and it records top speed and top altitude for instant recall. So that's mainly what I was looking for was the top speed um, to see what improvements and everything, you know. How that works with this so um with that being said we'll get back in here like i said we got the I, that did come the other day uh a thing that got cut off uh i was talking about the 24 millimeter adapters on uh that i'm running on the um xr uh they came they, I, I didn't want to run the Ramtech adapters. I, I can't, I don't understand why I cut that part off because it's kind of long. And I'm just going to give you guys a short. I got on online and I found these Mad Gear, okay, uh, 24 millimeter uh, off of Nitro RCX, 24 mil hubs. And I ordered. Uh, a complete two sets, okay? So they go right on the six millimeter axles on the XR. Only thing you got to modify is the pin that comes in these is like a three mil. You got to drill out your hole for your six mil pin that the Red Cat uses from the stock Red Cat hex hubs, okay? I did this so I have more wheel and tire options for the XR. Um, I'm going to be running a set of the all-terrains, like it's on my shorty ball haul, 
uh, on this all the way around and you can run just the set you don't got to buy like two sets or a set of fronts or a set of rears you can just buy one set you know the only difference is the width of the from the front to the back on those all terrains I'm gonna be snagging them off my shorty ball haul and running this to see how well it runs uh, I did have the street tires all the way around on here and that's what ended up I just wasn't enough traction up where I was running it. I wasn't running it on road uh, I ran those same tires on my XT before. They were a lot of fun just drifting it around in the field when the grass is cut. But I lost control of this thing, hit the tree, busted the steering servo. I was going to put an upgraded steering servo on there, but I'm putting the stock hex fly. I had an extra one. Red Cat steering servo. Assuming this one still works good. It's off my MT, the one that worked. Um, that way I can keep this thing as stock as possible when I start running the test on it and everything. So that's what I was in the in the you know working on starting. <clears throat> I was starting to do pull this apart. It needs cleaned. It's filthy dirty. Uh, I messed up one of my um, turnbuckles over here, but I have the parts to fix it already. So I'm gonna get this thing probably good. And I'll probably go ahead and clean it up decently. Get the servo put in it. Uh, try to get figure out this you know Sky RC speedometer setup. And then get it programmed, and we'll see how this thing does for top speed wise. And then we're going to compare that to like my uh, Roven LT truck, which is basically a Losi now. Every part on it basically has been replaced with a Losi running gear wise and everything. So, uh, like, you know, it's just like the version one. It's not, you know, any like the Losi 2.0 or whatever. It's just the, you know, Roven LT truck. <clears throat> but I'm going to compare that way just speed wise between RC's because uh, you know that's got a modded uh, ESP modded G340 on it so I'm just gonna do some different play around with this you know speed on or something I've been wanting to get playing with gear ratios and stuff like that be flipping our gears around on here <clears throat> uh, to figure out gear ratios and stuff and see how kind of improvement you get uh, that way we know for sure a couple mile an hour or whatever if it's a couple mile an hour that's worth it with the 36 with the extra low end because <clears throat> I'm not losing, not going to lose any torque power uh, with the, uh, you know, gear swapping around with the 36. So we're just going to have fun playing around with that, be doing some videos with that stuff for the XR for a little while. Um, you know, once I get this thing all set up and everything, then I want to run back, get back in some run videos on my MT, my Rampage MT. I took it out the other day and I really enjoyed running that truck. Forgot how much fun it was, so... But we're going to be focusing on this for the next three or four videos run-wise or whatever, you know, with the speeds and all that stuff. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. I'll have some more of that stuff coming. Uh, I just kind of wanted to go over that stuff with you guys. Um, I'm going to get you a part number. If I can find what I did with those hex hubs. Uh, here we go. I'll just show you guys. these. This is a Nitro RCX. That's the part numbers that you, that you want. Okay, it's BS501-011. If you want those for an XR, and I think the XB buggy, I think they're both 6 mil axles. Uh, and this will give you, you know, your stock um, width. You're not going to get real wide. Like the Ramtech adapters will get you kind of width, like widen you out. And with the XR, you don't want that with your tires rubbing your body and your tires hanging way out. I mean, unless you really do want it, <clears throat> you know, widened out. But I, I didn't. I want 